Hello, it is I, the Pink of the Cowboy, and today we are talking about one of my favorite films, Shiva Baby. Mom, 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 mom. who died? Abby. Uncle Morty's second wife's sister, you remember her? No, I don't think so. Mm, she used to play bridge with Bubby. Really? Yeah. Oh, Mom, I can't eat that. Why not? I'm vegetarian. You're killing me. I've told you it so many times. You have not eaten a single thing all day. That's because we just got here. You look like Gwyneth Paltrow on food stamps. Oh my God. So I discovered this film after watching uh, also one of my favorite films, Bodies, 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 which has Miss Rachel Sinat. Sinat? I do not... I'm I'm a stan, but I actually don't know how to say her last name correctly, so we are going to go with Sinat. Sinat? It kind of sounds like I'm saying snot, but she is far away from being snot because she's like, she's like, um, <laughs> you know that, um, slime you can make from, like, scratch, I guess? I guess all slime is made from scratch, but when you put the sparkles and the glitter in it, that is her. So after watching Bodies, 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 I was just stunned by her amazing performance in that film, and so I had to watch every single thing that she has been in, been a guest star in, had like one bit of dialogue in, anything that had Rachel in it, I was going to watch. And luckily, this movie was on HBO after I did some researching, and I could easily watch it. Okay, I will stop word vomiting, and we shall start the video right now. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Um, I'm good. I'm really good. Um, yeah, you seem it. Shiva Baby is a 2020 independent film written and directed by Emma Seligman. It follows the story of Danielle, a college student who attends a Shiva with her parents and discovers her sugar daddy, Max, is also in attendance along with his wife and baby. Danielle, are you listening to me? Hey, hey. Oh my god! That's Paul and Cheryl Shapiro's nephew. You're so cute. You know what? He has a cousin that works in publishing. No. Maybe he can help you. Mom, oh, no. stop. I, know, I have to go no, to the bathroom. No, no, no. Let's go. Mom. The film explores themes of identity, sexuality, tradition, and familial pressure, and does so with great depth and nuance. One of the most striking aspects of Shiva Baby is the way it explores the complexity of identity. Danielle is a young woman who is still figuring out who she is and what she wants, and her struggle to reconcile her different identities is a central theme of the film. On the one hand, she is a student who is trying to establish herself in the world and make a name for herself. On the other hand, she is a sugar baby who is involved in a transactional relationship with Max. And in the midst of all of this, she is also Jewish, and the Shiva brings up memories of her childhood and the expectations that her family has for her. And, and feed the homeless and teach English in the Orient. My major was sort of like women and gender studies through oh, the lens. Oh, so you could run marches, like with the pink pussy hat. Yes, exactly. That's such a good idea, right? You love to march and you love... Tonight. Our friend Steve Epstein, his son was like you. He was studying what? Um, philosophy or photography, no, one of those things. Yeah. And his parents were terrified, naturally, about his future. I mean, how was he going to make any money, right? But I mean, 20 years later, he's a brain surgeon. Wow. You never know. Yeah, you never know. You might end up being a brain surgeon. Yeah. Danielle's complex identity is not just a result of her multiple roles, but also because of the internal and external pressures that shape her identity. On the one hand, she has the desire to succeed in her career, but on the other hand, she is grappling with societal expectations about women's roles, particularly around sexuality. 
Moreover, her Jewish identity poses challenges as she tries to balance her beliefs and values with her desires and aspirations. The film shows the complexities of navigating multiple identities in a society that often struggles with acceptance and inclusion. Danielle's relationship with Max is complicated, and the film doesn't shy away from depicting the messy reality of their dynamic. At times, their interactions are playful and erotic, but at other times they are awkward and uncomfortable. The film also explores the taboo of sugar dating and the power dynamics that exist within such relationships. In addition to Danielle's relationship with Max, the film also touches on her bisexuality as she flirts with her ex-girlfriend Maya during the shiva. Okay, she's, she's very pretty, but she's too old for you. I don't think she's pretty. Malibu Barbie is not pretty. I mean, she's just like basic. You know, like she's, she's just like generic looking. She's like generic pretty. She's, she could possibly be the most beautiful person I've ever seen. Seriously, I just wouldn't be into her. Is what I'm saying. She has like the essence I want in 15 years. What? Like, boring, <laughs> boring like wife who like doesn't have sex and is like. Mean. The exploration of sexuality in Shiva Baby is a masterclass in nuanced and complex storytelling. The film portrays sexuality as an integral part of identity and highlights the complexities and nuances that come with navigating sexuality in a society that often polices and shames people for their desires. Danielle's bisexuality is not depicted as a mere plot point or a token representation. It is a vital part of her identity that is explored in depth with sensitivity and nuance. One of the most fascinating aspects of Shiva Baby is the tension that exists between tradition and modernity. The Shiva is a traditional Jewish ritual that is meant to bring people together in mourning and remembrance, but for Danielle, it feels suffocating and oppressive. Her parents have certain expectations for her, and she feels like she can't live up to them. At the same time, she is also grappling with the expectations that society has for young women, particularly around sexuality and career. The film does an excellent job of highlighting the pressure that people feel to conform to certain norms and expectations, even when they don't align with their own desires and aspirations. The film's portrayal of tradition is both nuanced and insightful. It shows how traditions can be both confronting and constraining, how they can provide a sense of belonging and meaning, but also stifle individuality and personal growth. The Shiva serves as a microcosm of tension as Danielle struggles to reconcile her own desires and identity with the expectations of her family and community. The film doesn't present an easy resolution to this tension, but instead portrays the complexity of the situation and the difficulty of navigating conflicting expectations. Overall, Shiva Baby is a must-see film that offers a fresh perspective on these complex and important themes. Yeehaw yeehaw, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please comment what is your favorite part of Shiva Baby or have you seen Shiva Baby? Go watch Shiva Baby. That's all I have to say really. Go watch Shiva Baby. Come back to this video and tell me what your favorite part is. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so aggressive. I just get really aggressive when I'm like passionate about stuff. Anyways, cowboys, cowgirls, and cow days, I'll see you guys next time when I decide to make another video on my own time. Please don't rush me, I get anxiety. <laughs> Goodbye.